Hey everyone, Chris the Thrift Shop Hustler here. Gonna do a what sold on eBay this week. It is Sunday. We had a bunch of sales this week and I kind of wanted to go over some of the stuff I sold and kind of dive a little deep on it and kind of show what's up. Uh, excuse the, the lighting. The lighting's kind of crazy. Uh, we got this kind of like uh, orange, <laughs> orange light going on here. We're gonna try to fix that soon. But anyways, I'm Chris the Thrift Shop Hustler. Been reselling for pretty close to 30 years, sell on eBay, Amazon, Etsy, Poshmark, OfferUp, and etc, 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 etc. So anyways, what we'll do is we go through basically what sold this week on eBay, take some of the highlights and kind of go over them a little bit. So here we go. First up, we got this 1948 Bomber B24 Heavy Bomber Baird's Batter, <laughs> Bubba Dooba Doo. Uh, heavy bomber baron's banner and uh what what's uh what was crazy about this one is the fact that i paid two dollars for this book and inside this book was this banner now the book itself could have easily sold for 30 to 40 dollars the banner is what is the big thing here and it was a great find uh like i said i definitely highly suggest anyone look inside books if they're sourcing tons of books, you never know what you can find. Um, I've heard of people finding money inside books. Uh, for me, I always find autographs inside books, so that's why I always look. Uh, this one kind of, there was something in the middle of it. I was kind of looking what it was, and it, you hold it was this banner. Uh, some of these go for hundreds of dollars, so this was a great, great sale. Uh, lots of uh, World War II memorabilia I come across uh, quite frequently actually and it's usually books and stuff like that but uh, as a pro tip definitely look inside books you never know what you're going to find I'm still waiting for that elusive uh, like Walt Disney signature or something like that uh, but I've, I've found uh, more commonly just like regular artists uh, and author signatures inside books which is cool and I usually pick those up and do quite well so anyways this was uh, we're going to start it off with a with a heavy hitter here. I took actually a best offer for 200 on this. Um, I want to say I had it as high as 500 at one point and just dropped it down. I did my high-low theory. And the high-low theory is when you find something rare, one of a kind, whatever, you you price it super high and you let it sit there. You see what happens if there's any watchers, offers, and then you gradually lower it till you find a little sweet spot. Sweet spot happened to be $200 on this. I'm fine with that. Paid $2 for this book. Bada bing, bada boom. Next up, we have this baseball card lot of vintage baseball cards. Uh, during the move, I found a bunch of boxes of stuff that I had put away. Death boxes from uh, even up to 10 years old. Death piles 10 years old. Could you imagine that? So anyways, went through tons of boxes and kind of were separating our cards in the lots. Did a auction style lot for this. Sold for 1208 with 199 shipping cards are definitely worth a lot more than twelve dollars but just stuff that's sitting around definitely happy to get rid of that um brings me back to when i first started ebay when i first started ebay i would be selling like little action figures little star wars figures some nintendo games and i've definitely started off with selling baseball cards and that's what really got me going and because baseball cards are easy to store they're easy to sell they're small they're lightweight um, anyone that's getting into ebay or reselling definitely think about starting off small with smaller items it's just easier to deal with especially if you can find something that uh, sells well next up we got these magic the gathering cars now speaking about cards uh, magic the gathering is a is a game that's been been out since the early 90s i wish i would have kept some of the cards i had in the early 90s those are long gone um, i left them over at a friend's house like 3,000 cards um, god knows what was in them what they're worth now i don't think i had any of the crazy like first edition ones like black lotus and all that but still would have been nice to have had those but anyways a long story short once again did some um, moving opened up some boxes Broke some cards up in lots, and I sold this lot for $9.99. Definitely worth way more than that. Um, wish this would have went a little bit higher, but someone bought it. $9.99 plus uh, $1.99 shipping, and it's out It's out the door. Never look back. No regrets. Speaking of regrets, 
<laughs> this uh, Freddy Funko sold for twenty three ninety nine with free shipping. Here's another thing too. I um, I don't I don't do free shipping anymore. This was a legacy auction, something that was uh, put up a long time ago before I implemented uh, using shipping prices because i noticed that like you know over the years just doing free shipping sure it's nice and sure i'm sure i get like you know extra sales from it and everything but in the long run you know i'm paying out the butt for shipping cost uh, even though like you know on the back end on taxes and stuff some of it's a write-off and all that blah 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 um but still need the money up front it's good to have the money so for one that was one thing that you know i kind of lost money on uh, I think this was like 12 ounces to ship. It was like three something to ship first class uh, with the box and bubble mailer and all that and, and protector and all that. But I paid like maybe like $18 for this because it was something that came from the Funko shop. And I bought uh, three of these thinking like they were going to go up in value. They never did. So I ended up selling, taking a, this was actually on sale, $23.96. I didn't realize this was on sale. Um, I would have uh, not put this one on sale. I would have held on this for longer to get at least thirty dollars for it but anyways uh you learn you you buy stuff everything about collectibles uh, sometimes they go up in value and sometimes they not this one didn't um, i probably would have uh, rather kept this one than have sold it next up we have this vintage tonka truck and what's cool about this one is this one's from the 80s and it's sealed in these little packages. Uh, these little Tonka trucks, if anyone was old enough to remember, sometimes they came in packages of six or five in little sets. And sometimes they came boxed like this. And this one uh, happens to be like a John Deere looking themed color scheme. And what was cool about this is I purchased, this was actually a pretty crazy uh, collection that I bought. And I bought a box lot of this at Goodwill and they were selling it as like a Tonka collection but there was like Hot Wheel red lines inside there and I saw them and I don't know if any the people that package it together didn't see it or whatever but I ended up paying up for this and uh, this was part of the set blah 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 anyways I think I took a best uh, offer for this one I think I think I I think I I, I uh, I think I got $20 for this as uh, that huge box um, pretty much uh, those red lines pretty much paid for the box uh, tenfold so this was pretty much like a free item sort of kind of so anyways $20 this will ship first class no problem uh, next up we have this uh, dreaded PDQ box collection this guy kind of does like um, it's kind of almost like uh, Monty Python in a way Kind of spoofs Bach, so they'll like he'll do they'll play Bach with their band, and then they'll do like some little funny like an antics and everything. Anyways, uh, this was in a CD collection that I purchased with the lot of uh, 1,200 DVDs that I've you've, everyone's heard so much about, and uh, this was literally pennies into this sold for 29.99. Definitely, there's some good uh, CDs to sell out there. I had this one listed on Amazon also. Uh, sold a few CDs on Amazon that was in that lot, but this one happened to sell on eBay, and that was a good sale on that. Uh, next up, we have this uh, Filipino hip-hop rapper shirt, One Love. I think his name is Francis Magalona. I'm probably butchering that name. And the reason why I showed this is this was a pickup for a dollar at a Goodwill. They had a, a tag sale, and I think um, all the shirts that day were a dollar. And the reason why I picked this up, and the only reason why I picked this up, it was like a brand new shirt. And um, it was just like, like I said, it was brand new. And for a dollar, you know, I definitely picked it up. I sold another one just like this with the same hip-hop rapper. And I, I did research on this, and that's another crazy thing when I buy these shirts. I'm like, who is this guy? Uh, I found out that I guess like he passed away or something like that and is a kind of like a like a like a Tupac of the Filipino rap world and uh, if I guess if that's what I guess I can correlate it to so that people can understand exactly what this is uh, this was it was 1999 free shipping once again this was another legacy item that didn't have uh, that had free shipping I would have charged shipping for this even if it was a dollar ninety nine um, I think this was 10 ounces shipped first class and it was out the door so definitely check out goodwill sometimes they have some pretty good shirts 
uh, mostly junk, but you know sometimes they got good shirts. And uh, let's see here. This is this was a a, a model kit that I purchased. Um, I think I, I want to say I even got this the day that I got that one book that I that had the banner in it. Anyways, I paid three dollars for this. Um, I didn't do any comps on this. If I would have did comps, I probably wouldn't have bought this. Uh, I had this maybe for a month listed, three dollars. Made a few dollars on this. I think it cost like a couple dollars to ship. Uh, anyways, I made a couple dollars on this. This wasn't a huge profit, but you know, any kind of sealed model kits that I can find for like two dollars, I'll buy them because sometimes. Um, most model kits are going to be in the neighborhood of 10 to 20. But sometimes you do get lucky finding a uh, an old retired model kit. And uh, sometimes those can go for 40 50 60 up to $100 for some of the rare ones. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is pretty much the highlights of the stuff that I sold this week. And I uh, definitely really appreciate it. You guys leave a uh, thumbs up if you like this video. Please click the subscribe button. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers. Click the bell if you want to get notifications. If there's anything in this auction that you saw that you had a question about or anything that you saw that you've sold before, please leave a comment below. And we'll see you guys soon. Have a great week.